I have the guts of a JBL headphone here. See, uh, let's see here. These are going to be the pin connectors. The four pin is for the audio, and the two pin is for the microphone. This little header here is for the small lithium ion battery. And these are all terminals for the battery. You can see the ones labeled L plus and L minus there, which are for the left channel, which I just decided to directly solder wires over here at the S speaker L S P K L plus and minus here to this terminal. And uh, another point of interest here, uh, where did it go? Let's see if I can't get a better picture of this. I'm going to zoom in. There's actually a glob of epoxy here because uh, I decided to remove the speaker jack, but it's a double bypass sort of thing where whenever it's not connected, it connects the regular audio signal. Whenever it's connected, it turns the unit off. So I actually had to... Um, let me get a pointy thing really quick. Here's a pointy thing. It's a, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a clay sculpting tool. I'll talk about that in a moment. So yeah, here there is a wire, small piece of wire crossing these connectors here to bypass the headphone jack. And then here there's a wire soldered to a small pad which is soldered to the end of a capacitor, like an SMD capacitor here. It's a really weak connection and likes to pop off, so I put a glob of epoxy on it to take care of that issue. Uh, the rest of this is I covered everything with a silicon conformal coating to help prevent it from, you know, uh, if it got wet or anything, it'd keep it from going bad, but at the same time, I used alcohol to try to clean up the flux paste over here, which for some reason just became a black tar spot. Talk about my understanding of uh, soldering. It's a little weak. But uh, it makes that silicone coating cloudy white. Probably not good. Uh, this is just a recycled USB cable here. So I'm using the ground as the, va the battery... Uh, minus you know the ground when I say the ground I mean actually the metal wrapping here and all the other pins and wires are just you know what they are and here is the microphone terminals there's all these neat little test points like on the circuit here for VBAT and ground and such you know all these things that they probably just plop this on a test board in the factory and test these points to see if the thing is working before they certify it and stick it in a headphone. But uh, anyhow, it goes into a housing. Let's see, this is a housing right here. And uh, put buttons in it. But the buttons are not a single piece. You can see in here how I've uh, actually glued it in. And there's a little plastic nub on this here. And this little plastic nub pushes on the actual button. It's like a two millimeter diameter button. This is the power button here. This is the volume plus and minus. And this is a button. Uh, I don't know what it does. That's why I made it a little shorter because I don't care to press it. And then there's a little inset for the battery. The circuit board sits here. And then the smaller board sits across here. And then this is where the headphone plug's going to be. Uh, this is the USB-C charging port opening right here. And it lines up rather well. This took many, many iterations. I've probably printed seven of these now. And uh, I'm going to print the final one in black PLA. You can see it's going to plug into... Uh, let me go back to 1X here. You see it's going to plug into the headphones inside my helmet here which are usually covered by these ear pads, but if I pop them off, you see that? I actually dug out the foam around the ears. I know that's not good for safety reasons, but I'm not riding a motorcycle. I am riding an electric scooter, so I'm not as concerned about that. 
but the, the default cups if you put any headphones in them without with the original foam in there's like a ton of pressure on your ears it just feels terrible and uh so digging these out putting 40 millimeter headphone drivers in here and i found that the bass response is actually better if you add a lot of ports at first i just had a small three millimeter hole for the bass port and bass was muffled so giving it some breathing room i think helps uh with the uh, bass response in this housing this is actually based off of the original housing which had a sealed semi-sealed volume uh for the so that the speaker could breathe let's see what else is there going on here so I got this cord coming out. I'm gonna have a little microphone set up in here somewhere. And uh, actually, fun fact, I got some fur for it. I bought this dead cat just on Amazon. Cheap, but okay, decent reviews. And uh, I cut it up. And I'm just gonna glue a strip of this on top of the microphone housing. However, the microphone housing is pretty small. I'll show you that. Hey, kitty. Hey, Sarah. Girl cat. Uh, the tail that turned a thousand heads. Well, here's the microphone. Let me set it against the solid surface here. The microphone is a small capsule about, what, is that five? millimeters and there's a cover that goes over this which has a cylindrical bore inside and then there's like a small pinhole i actually tested this microphone out in the different configurations with larger or smaller holes and found out that the hole size didn't make much of a difference however that did not fix the micro the microphone's um response to wind so even if you blew on it with a pinhole covering it you know uh, guarding the element it would still go, and it was really um, it, was, it was obnoxious. So I tried stuffing it with a piece of cotton, like uh, you know, like this stuff here. If you'll zoom on that, I just tore a piece of a cotton swab off and uh, stuffed it in there. That didn't help either. What did help was this cat toy here. I wrapped this around the microphone and blew at it. And it sounded a okay. It did not. It just muffled all the wind noise. So I figured I'll just get a dead cat and glue it on there. Put a little hole inside here that goes all the way through the foam to this side of the helmet. And that will lead out of the helmet. And hopefully join this connector here. And then I'll have a microphone. I This is rubbery. I want to try to connect it here. Just really challenged to find a place to connect it. I'm thinking that I might design one that actually connects here with a really thin connector and then sticks out over here. So it's kind of like, uh, let me show you. It'd kind of be like, I'd have this little tab sticking out here and then it would kind of go around like that. I don't know, like, you know, to clear here a bit. And the microphone hole would be kind of like over here. So you have the microphone element sitting in here. And then the cable would just uh, like come out the side here, go along that. But the element, the, the, the hole, see, I have this cylinder here. And in the bottom of the cylinder is a microphone capsule with the little wires going out. And then in that cylinder, there's a small hole. And then over the cylinder, I intend to wrap a piece of fur. And that's... So if you want to sculpt foam, you can get one of these dudes. This is a kit here. This is a uh, foam sculpting tools. Here's another with a hook. So what I did with this guy is... Uh, Instead of buying a foam cutter with a wire and such, and it just cuts lines and such with an 18 or 36 watt power supply, and it's probably woefully inadequate, since I was cutting in the helmet, I was cutting out these pockets, you see, and um, I wanted to get in there, but none of the tools I found online would do it. I bought clay sculpting tools. Here's the rest of them. 
These were like eight bucks on Amazon. And what you do is you just blast them with the butane torch until they're red hot and then go cutting away and then blast it again when it's red hot and go cutting away. Uh, you can shape foam with these guys. This is like eight bucks, you know, for six, six wood handled tools. Uh, the heating up of the tools did not, did not burn the wood. Uh, the heat actually stayed very localized to the end. I guess it's steel. It's not as conductive with heat as, say, copper or aluminum.